Greetings, this is M squared, and we're going to talk about how you can tell if a linear system is consistent, inconsistent, dependent, or independent. So a lot of times when you're solving these systems from a textbook, they'll ask you not only to solve them, but to figure out if they're one of those things. So these are the only three options. They can be consistent and independent, or consistent and dependent. Consistent means they have a solution. So this one only has one solution, this one has lots of solutions. So that's what consistent means. Inconsistent means there's no solutions. So we're going to talk about what the equations look like and also what the graphs look like. So when you have a consistent and independent linear system, you have the slopes that are different. Well, sometimes if you don't have to graph them, you could just solve this for y, which means we're getting it in slope-intercept form, to see if the slopes are different. So to do that, I would have added x to both sides, so I would get 3y equals negative x plus 12. I would have divided by negative 3, and once I do that, it's going to be in slope-intercept form. And now I can see that the slope in this equation, this line is one-third, the slope in this line is one-fourth. That means they actually have a solution and one solution. When the slopes are different, there's one solution. So the lines intersect at some point, and that would be your solution. So these kinds of systems, two, two equations of lines that have different slopes, are consistent and independent. They have one solution, and so keep that in mind. Sometimes, sometimes you don't even have to graph them. If you just see the slopes are different, you know that there's going to be one solution. So over here, if it's consistent and dependent, basically that means it's the same exact line you're graphing it on top of the other. And you can kind of, before I solve for y, I'll, see, I'll show you, you can kind of see that they're the same. Like this y and this y, how would I get from here to here? I'd multiply by 2. And then this is twice that, 9 is nine doubles is 18, and 4 times 2 is 8. So I know that this is twice as much. But let me get this one in slope-intercept form to show you. So 2y equals negative 8x plus 18 when I bring the 8x over. If I divide by 2, I get y equals negative 4x plus 9, which is the same thing as y equals 9 minus 4x. They just switch the order. Signs are the same in front of all of them, so be careful with that. So these are not only parallel, but they have the same y-intercept. So they have the same slopes, the same y-intercepts, that means it's the same line. So basically, I just graphed another line on top of the one I was already at. So because they're right on top of each other, they intersect in every single point. And since points, I mean, and since the lines have an infinite amount of points, we say that the solution to this system is an infinite, has infinite, infinitely many solutions. Now onto this one. If it's inconsistent, it has no solutions. Well, the only way that you can graph two lines that will never intersect is if you have parallel lines. So it's going to look something like that. But you can tell if they have the same slopes. Notice neither one of these are in slope-intercept form. So we can get them that way on this one. Um, if we move the 5y over there and the 10 over here, it might be easier. And then if we divide by 5, we get one-fifth as our slope, and our y-intercept is negative two. So going to this one, if I just move the two x over there, I get negative 10 y equals negative two x plus 30. If I divide by negative 10, I get y equals one-fifth x minus three. So notice, oh, I forgot my x there, sorry. Notice I have the same slope but different y-intercepts. That means they're going to rise at the same um, rate. So they have the same slope. They're going up at the same rate. They'll never intersect. So this is why this system doesn't have any solutions. Because remember, the solution of a system is where the two graphs intersect. So we call this inconsistent. So hopefully that helps you figure out what your systems are. Good luck with that. M squared, signing out.